I didn't want my child to die with 10 pieces of medical equipment around him and him in pain and him with tubes everywhere in this bright room. I, that wasn't what I had planned. I don't think anybody plans that kind of death for their child. Braxton is my firstborn son. He was born with a chromosome abnormality and it has never been found in a live fetus before. He is the first documented case of this specific abnormality. So a geneticist came to talk to me and she said, I have no prognosis to give to your son. He is going to write his own story. The first doctor that he had when he was in the neonatal intensive care unit told me that Braxton would never walk, never talk, would be confined to a wheelchair for his whole life, never smile, never do anything, never show emotion. He was about 12 months old, and he sat up on his own for the very first time and started laughing and smiling. So it was kind of like, okay, I'm gonna prove you guys wrong. He's had to fight to be here, he's had to fight to live, and he plays, he's just a regular kid, he's just different. I don't know what his quality of life is going to be. I don't know if he'll live to be 50 or he'll live to be 15. When I went to get him out of his bed in the morning to wake him up to go to school, uh, he was gray, lifeless. Uh, he had vomited blood. I called my husband, Ryan, and I said, you, you need to turn around and come home we need to take him to the hospital, and I want to take him to Florida Hospital for Children. And I quickly rushed down to the PICU, and here we had a little boy who uh, had fever, and he was uh, very sick. He was not opening his eyes. He was not responding to anything that we were doing or saying. Well, I looked at my husband when all this was going on in the emergency room. I looked at him, and I said, I do not have a good feeling about this. Braxton has been sick many times throughout his life. He's been hospitalized many times, but this time felt different. I knew while I was sitting back there that it, something was wrong, something wasn't going the way that it should have been going. And I finally saw the surgeon come in. He looked at me and said, there is something very wrong with your son and I don't know what it is. 